It can take up phones for even six inches or it can take up phones. Uh, it can take up phones with a screen. Uh, that is why you need this. Hello, amigos. How are you all doing? Hope you had a beautiful weekend. My name is Enrique, and today we are going to take a look at the Best View T1 teleprompter. One of the biggest problems that I have when I wanted to make making my tech reviews is that when I wanted to speak to the camera in a natural way, but also being able to speak about the technical aspects of the product that I make my video about, is that I stumble a lot. And when I mean a lot, it's a lot. Probably for an eight minute video, I will have even an hour of shooting with all the outtakes that I did. That's why I decided to pick up this budget teleprompter. The Best View T1 is a smartphone teleprompter. So you have to keep that in mind when thinking about buying one because your scripts are going to look small on it. Uh, it can handle a smartphones with a maximal screen size of around six inches or 15 centimeters diagonally. It's lightweight and the construction is made of plastic, but still feeling good and not flimsy at all. Uh, the mount for the smartphone is with a couple of springs on the back of it. And I think this is something that they should improve about because sometimes it's really difficult to open it. And because of the strengthness of the springs itself, you have to be careful not to be scratching the surface over on your cell phone uh, when you're sliding it in. It also comes with a tripod mount on the bottom of it. It comes with nine adapter rings so you can correct it to your camera, going from 49 millimeters all the way up to 82 millimeters. And the way to install it to your camera is by screwing the adapter onto the lens of your camera and then sliding this adapter onto the teleprompter. The glass is around 11 centimeters wide and is pretty reflective. And even if it's really small size screen, you can really good read the script on it. My version of the T1 came with a small Bluetooth controller. With the one you can control your smartphone, and control the teleprompter functions like play, pause, fast forward, the speed, anything else. Uh, it can, everything can be configured into it. If you don't come with the controller, you can adapt other Bluetooth controllers on it. They are really cheap and you can find them everywhere. Heck, even you can even try to use an Xbox controller with it, but you will probably look <laughs> really funny making your videos with a game controller in your hand. You can download the Best View app on your Android or iOS device. The app is pretty basic, it lets you change the color, size and speed of the text, but you can change the borders when the text is appears on the screen. So if you want to use this teleprompter with a bigger telephone, think that maybe you will need to use one of the other more complete apps on the store. And a small note that I'm not so happy about it is because the shape and, uh, and the size of it, when you try to use a wide angle lens, like for example, my Sigma 16 millimeters, you can check the quick review that I did of this lens right here. You're going to have the corners of the teleprompter showing on frame. So either you will have to use a different lens with it, or you have um, your camera rig more far away and you will have to zoom in in your video or editing in post. The way to install it is to first screw the adapter ring on your lens, then I will place the smartphone on the holder so you don't put so much extra force on your lens connection if you try to place it after you connect it to your camera. And the last it will be to mount your lens into the camera. Keep in mind that this is going to put some more extra weight on your camera and lens connection So if you don't use it with a tripod. The last thing I want to mention is that because of the glass and the reflection of it with your script, some cameras can have problems with the autofocus. I had it happening to me on a couple of times. And if you already have set up your white balance before you add the T1 teleprompter to your camera, we'll have to set it up once more because it can really mess up with it. I would recommend the Best View T1 teleprompter. Mm, yes and no. If you are just starting out, it's a great option for the price because it's really cheap, but with all the limitation of lenses that you can use and the small screen size, I'm pretty sure you will grow old of it really fast. For the moment though, I will still use mine, especially for my tech videos, like this one. So if only I could sound a little bit more natural and not like robot, even though that I'm looking at the test right now, because right now I'm using the teleprompter. Just for a small disclosure, guys, uh, best view or nobody, absolute nobody, send me this teleprompter to me. I buy this myself with my own money, and this is simply my honest opinion about it. So guys, that's it for the video today. What do you guys think about this? Are you going to get one? You're thinking about buying one? 
Um, it's really cheap. This is the only thing I can say about this. I, I'm going to be using it for the long run, for the moment until I can get a good one, a big one. But I pretty much think it's worth it. Oops. So amigos, that's it for the video. I hope you have enjoyed it. If you did it, click the like button if you like it. Dislike if you didn't like it. And if you have so and if you haven't subscribed already, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button and notifications bell so you know every time I upload a video like this one. Now, let's take my telephone and let's take a look to the top post from last week video. Um, I think it was not too much, only a couple of comments. Let's read them out. Mix Lodi, one more time. Hello, my friend. I'm really sad that you are closing your channel. But if you're going to start a new one, let me know when you do it, okay? Uh, Studio is coming along nicely. Looking forward for more Premiere Pro and more reviews, man. Thanks for the shellwell update. Notice. Thank you very much for being here. Uh, Matthew Galardium Music. Looking forward to the new shellwell. Yeah, um, friends, I think it's way better. I have more time for editing because I can shoot them, for example, um, uh, Thursday or Friday, and I have three, four, five days to be editing the videos without any stress, without anything like this. Thank you guys for being here. And um, if you haven't seen it already, I created a second channel where I'm going to be doing most of all live streams about gaming because I really enjoy to game. And I have a little bit more time to do it. If I make it live, I don't have to edit it. And I can do both of the things that I enjoy the most together in one, to make videos and to gaming. So guys, like always, see you in the next time. Bye bye.